Hi, this is Natalie Hill with another method using EFT, Emotional Freedom Techniques, to help you shake a bad mood. I'm making this video from the beach in El Nido in uh, Palawan, Philippines, and I'm in the hotel, bar, restaurant called The Alternative, looking out over the water. It's so beautiful here. So this method is called Tell the Story. And it's one of the most simple EFT tapping methods there is. And you use this when there is an event in your recent past or in your memory that you know you still have some negative emotional charge around. Maybe when you think of it, you feel that emotion rise in you, or maybe uh, it keeps kind of coming back to you and replaying it in your mind. Um, or whenever something reminds you of this thing, you feel that wash of emotion. This means that you are holding on to that uh, negative emotion around it and it's taking your energy to hold on to it. So you really want to re release that charge. And so what you do is you just tap the points while you tell the story of the event. So I'll use a sto uh, story that I've used before of the time that I wrecked my brother's red Camaro. I was 15 and a half years old and I had my driver's permit. I was 15 and a half years old, uh, almost 16, I had my permit and we were driving from Phoenix to Safford and I was at the wheel. Anyway, I won't tell you now because I'm gonna tell you when I'm tapping. All right, so I was 15 and a half, I had my permit. My brother Jimmy and I were going from Phoenix to Safford, Pima, to see our Uncle Rue and our cousin Steve and Ruby. And Jimmy let me drive. We were on the highway outside of Pima and I was driving. And, you know, we were going fast. It was not a freeway, but a highway, so I was going probably 60 or at least 50. And I remember wanting to change the vent. And the vent was down like at my knee, somewhere down by my left knee. And I was reaching down to move to change the vent. And I remember that the car had a slight pull to the right. And so I was reaching down, not looking at the road, and apparently the car was veering over to the right, and Jimmy yelled, look out! I looked up, ooh, I was about to stop tapping. I looked up, and there was one of those metal mile markers that are, you know, right beside the road. We were just about to hit it. And so I turned the steering wheel like that put the car into a spin. And as we spun around, like this, going off the road, I don't know how many times we spun. All I remember is that at one point we were facing the opposite direction. And I was saying over and over, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And we ended up on the other side of the road, we mowed down a fence, and we ended up facing the other direction and it bent the frame of Jimmy's red Camaro you couldn't see any damage there was no visible damage but it it damaged the frame so it I guess it totaled the car I was so scared god I was so scared and I felt so guilty so ashamed of myself he said look out so see now I'm kind of repeating some of the most significant parts of the story which I could still have some charge over. And I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I ruined my brother's Camaro. I wrecked his precious car. What an idiot I was. So you see, what I've done is I've told the story, like blow by blow, really taking it kind of in slow motion. You don't want to like just speed, speed through it and say something like, I wrecked my brother's car when I was 15 and it bent the frame. You know, no, no, no. You gotta go, you know, moment by moment, everything you remember. And then I added in how I felt 
you know, I was so ashamed. So you add in your feelings, I was so ashamed, I was so scared, all of that. And then you can add in, I was such an idiot, you know, sort of thoughts and beliefs about it. And then when you're finished telling the story, you can take a deep breath, bring the story to mind again, see if there's still a charge around it, or you can forget that part and just, you know, go about your life. And uh, in coming days, you can notice whether or not you're still replaying the event. And sometimes you may replay it again, but you may replay a different part of it. Like the charge might still be live for you, but it can be a completely different aspect, one that you didn't tap on. So just notice, am I still, you know, do I still have a charge around this when I'm reminded of something or when somebody says that thing that used to make the emotion rise in me? Is it still there? And um, am I replaying it in my mind like I was? So that's the process. It's the EFT tell the story process. Really, really effective. This is Natalie Hill. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope this helps you. Making this video from El Nido, Philippines. We'll talk soon.